Hi guys, welcome back to the Sage Go Studio YouTube channel. I'm Brittany, your yoga teacher for today. And today we are doing a twisty power flow. So whenever you're ready, join me on the mat. We will begin today's flow with our prop and standing at the back of our mats in Tadasana mountain pose. So let's build our mountain pose from the ground up. Go ahead and place your feet about hips width apart, lift the toes up, spread them and place them back down to give yourself a nice stable foundation. Pull up on the kneecaps to engage in the quads. Make sure your pelvis is nice and neutral. Spine is straight, core is engaged. Roll those shoulders back, down and away from the ears. And go ahead and look out straight. Gaze is soft, chin is parallel to the floor. Let's externally rotate the arms so the palms are facing out so that we're broadening across the collarbone. Good, from here, we're just going to close off the eyes and take a moment as we begin our practice to just arrive on the mat. So take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth with a sigh. <sighs> One more time, breathe in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth with a sigh. <sighs> then go ahead and start to just breathe deeply and intentionally in and out through your nose. Signaling to your body that you're taking a break from your day and moving into your yoga practice now. So try to think of all of your to-dos, everything that you have done today, everything you have left to do is just waiting for you, pausing for a moment so that you can be fully present to breathe and move together. We'll take a few moments here, just breathing, becoming really aware of the body, noticing all the little shifts in your feet as you stay upright and balanced, in your Tadasana mountain pose. You can start to engage your Ujjayi breathing here, that deep breathing in and out through the nose with a slight constriction at the back of your throat. That breath will help to warm the body and also help to keep you present in the moment. On your next inhale, go ahead and sweep those arms up to the sky. Exhale, palms come together at heart center. You can set your intention here for your practice. And then exhale, drop those hands down again, slowly blink open the eyes, and let's get into our flow. So let's inhale again, reach up, come up onto those tippy toes, and then exhale, drop those heels again, and bring your right arm behind you, left arm in front, coming into an easy twist. Then inhale, arms sweep up again, exhale, Right arm stays forward, left arm stays back. Inhale through center, exhale, twist over to the right. Keep those hips facing forward. We're just moving the arms and the upper body, good. We'll come back through center one last time. Exhale, arms go out wide, hinge at the hip, flat back brings you all the way down into our fold. Go ahead and plant those fingertips down and bend the knees, coming into a little squat here, heels lift up off the ground. And then we're going to inhale, straighten, drop the heels. Exhale, bend down, heels lift. Inhale, straighten. Exhale and bend, heels lift. 
And then straighten, heels come down one more time. Let's come into our squat and then straighten. Good. From here, let's place those hands down and walk out into our plank position here. Nice one long line of energy. Take a deep breath in and then exhale. Place those knees gently on the mat coming into your tabletop. So hands are right underneath the shoulders and the knees are right underneath the hips. Let's take a couple of rounds of cat and cow. So inhale, head and tailbone lifts. Exhale, round the spine, drop head and tailbone. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, round in the spine. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, and round. From here, let's come into a neutral tabletop position. And then we're going to inhale the right arm and the left leg up. Again, one nice long line of energy holding in the core to keep you nice and stable here. Take a nice big breath in. And then exhale, knee to elbow crunch. Inhale, extend. Exhale and crunch. Inhale, extend. Exhale and crunch. Inhale, extend. Exhale and crunch. One more. Inhale, extend. Exhale and crunch. Good. From here, just go ahead and place those hands and knees down and we'll go on to the other side. Inhale, right leg up, left arm up. Point the toes, get nice and long here. Take a big breath in and then exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend, exhale and crunch. Inhale, extend, exhale and crunch. Inhale, extend, exhale and crunch. One more time, inhale, extend, exhale and crunch. Good, place that down. And then we'll take a little twist here. So go ahead and inhale, sweep that left arm up and exhale, thread that needle underneath the right arm, bending into the right elbow and coming into our twist here. Good, we'll just take a couple breaths in this twist, resting that left temple on the ground. On your next inhale, press into that hand, come back to your tabletop, and then let's sweep that right arm up and exhale, thread that needle under the left arm, bringing the right temple to the mat, taking a couple of breaths in here. And then let's push into that left hand and come back into our tabletop. From here, we're going to come into our puppy pose. So start to slide those hands out wide, keeping the hips high and just sinking the chest towards the mat, dropping forehead to the mat here. And I like to stay really engaged in the hands here. So really actively pressing them into the mat and just getting a nice extension for the spine. And then on your next inhale, let's go ahead and start to drag the fingertips back, lifting up into a tall kneeling position. Reach those arms up into the sky. And then exhale, hands come behind you, fingertips facing up, and just press gently into that low back, opening up the heart, taking a little baby camel here. Good, exhale, release that down. Let's come back into our tabletop position. Put the hands about a handprint away, tuck the toes and lift the hips up into our downward facing dog. First one of the day. So go ahead and pedal out the feet, bending into one knee and then the next. Warming up the backs of the legs here. Good. And then from here, let's lift the heels up, coming onto the tippy toes, and then drop the heels over to the right, getting a little 
twisty down dog in. Inhale through center, drop the heels to the left, twisting out our down dog here. And then inhale, heels come up and drop them straight back. Take another deep breath in. Exhale fully. And then on your next inhale, take a walk up to your hands. Fold forward here. And then inhale, arms go out wide as you sweep them all the way up to our Tadasana mountain pose here. From here, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway look. Exhale and fold. Plant those fingertips down and step that left foot all the way back, coming into our lunge. Release that knee to the ground, and then we'll take some side bends here. So plant that right fingertip down and reach over, taking a side bend. And then plant the left fingertips down and reach over, take a side bend over to the left. Good. Let's plant that left hand down, tuck the back toes, and come into our lifted lunge here. So really pull that right hip back, left hip forward, and then inhale, straighten that leg, exhale and bend. Inhale and straighten, exhale and bend. Inhale and straighten, exhale, bend. One more time, inhale, straighten. Exhale and bend, ground down into those feet as you inhale and come up into our high revolved lunge. So arms are going out straight, left hip is pulling forward, right hip is pulling back. And then from here, drop that right hand to the back of the left leg, coming into this twisty revolved Balance, challenging, lunge, very good. And then from here, go ahead and plant that hand back down. Frame the foot with your hands. Step back into a three-legged dog, reaching those right toes up to the ceiling. And then exhale, bring that knee into chest, kick it out to the left. Inhale, scoop it up. Exhale, kick it out to the right. Inhale, scoop it up. Exhale, kick it left. Inhale, and exhale, kick it right. Good job. Inhale it up one more time. And exhale, drop that leg right down to the mat. Go ahead and pedal at the feet here, taking a nice big deep breath in and exhaling fully. Again, let's take a walk up so our feet meet our hands, fold forward, and then inhale up with a nice flat back, palms come together and exhale. Hands come to heart center, good. From here, let's get the other side. So inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive fold. Inhale, halfway look. Exhale and fold, step that right foot back, all the way back, release that knee down and come up into our lunge. Good, plant those left fingertips down on the floor and reach over into a side bend. Good job, Sam. <laughs> and then let's come back through center, place those right fingertips on the floor or on your dog and take a side bend over to the right. Good. Come back through center and then let's plant that right hand down, tuck the back toes and come up into our lunge, lifting that left arm into the sky. Let's inhale and extend the left leg. Exhale, bend it back in. Inhale, extend. Exhale and bend. Inhale, extend. Exhale and bend. Inhale, extend. Exhale and bend. From here, 
get nice and grounded in the feet as we slowly and carefully inhale up into our revolved lunge here. Good. Arms are nice and lifted. Feet are grounding down into the mat. Let's go ahead and reverse the shape here. Taking nice deep breaths in, pulling that right hip forward, and then exhale, slowly windmill the hands and come back into your lunge. Sweep that left leg up into the air and then exhale, bring that knee in towards the chest. Kick it out to the right. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, kick it left. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, kick it right. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, kick it left. Inhale, sweep it up. And then drop it down into your downward facing dog. Pedal out those feet again to reset. And take a nice deep breath in here. Exhale fully. And then from here, let's inhale, take a walk up to our hands, avoiding any pause if you need to. Take a nice fold in, and then inhale, sweep those arms as a flat back brings you all the way up. Good. Palms come together at heart center. Close off the eyes for a moment and come back to your breath. Good, from here you can go ahead and blink open the eyes. And we're going to take a little balance challenge here. So get nice and stable in your feet. Remember to lift up the toes, spread them, place them back down. From here, we're gonna ground down into the left foot and start to pick up that right leg. Can grab on to the big toe with your two piece fingers of your right hand. Stay here, or if that feels good, go ahead and extend the leg. Good. Make sure there's a little bend in that standing leg so you're not locking the knee out. And then you can either stay with that stretch or go ahead and grab the outside edge of the right foot with the left hand and open up into a twist here. Find a spot that's not moving to gaze at. Keep breathing. On your next exhale, slowly release that. Moving in slow motion, let's come down into a half moon pose here. So go ahead and plant those left fingertips on the ground. Stick that right leg out nice and straight. Foot is flexed and right arm goes up to the ceiling. One more deep breath in. Exhale, fold, turn those hips to face forward and just plant that right foot down on your mat. Again, let's come down into this little squat. Inhale, straighten. Exhale and squat. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, squat, good. Inhale, straighten, drop those heels, and then let's inhale our way up to Tadasana. Shake out those legs, shake out the feet, ankles, and we will go on to the other side. So plant those feet down. Start to put all of your weight into that right foot as we slowly lift up the left leg. Again, take those two piece fingers of the left hand, wrap them around that big toe, stay here or extend that foot out. Again, really grounding down into that right foot, finding that spot to gaze at to keep your balance. Come into that revolved hand to toe pose, kicking the left foot out, 
grabbing on. Gaze can be straight or for a challenge, start to look towards that extended back arm. And then exhale, slowly release as we kick the left foot back and slowly bring the right fingertips to the ground, coming into our half moon pose. Left arm reaching up into the sky. And then exhale, both fingertips come down to the ground, plant that left foot down and come into our little squat here. Inhale, extend, exhale and squat. Inhale, extend, exhale and squat. One more time, extend and then squat. And then from here, come to sit on your mat. <laughs> And then we'll plant our feet on the mat and slowly come to lay down, unless you have a dog in your way. There you go. Just move them over. <laughs> come to lay down on your mat, releasing onto the floor here. Go ahead and hug those knees in. Give yourself a little rock around. Roll out the ankles and roll them in the other direction. Good. From here, we're just gonna grab on to the bottoms of our feet, coming into a happy baby. So feet are flexed, stamped up to the ceiling, knees reaching towards those armpits. You can stay in stillness here, rock a little back and forth, whatever feels good to you. Should be a nice release on the low back. Just feel really good after our practice. Take one more deep breath in and go ahead and release that pose. Bringing the feet back down to the mat, bring the soles of our feet together, knees go wide in our supta, baddha konasana here. Bring one hand to belly, one hand to heart, and just feel your breath moving throughout your body. If it feels comfortable, you can close off the eyes here. Start to slow down the breathing. Just letting the ground support you. We'll take one more breath in here. Exhale fully. And then bring those hands underneath the thighs and gently guide the knees back together. Let's come into a little easy twist to finish out our practice. Bringing arms out to a T. We'll bend the knees into tabletop and then drop them over to the left, bringing gaze over to the right. And again, this should be a nice, easy twist here. So try not to grip anything. Just allow gravity to encourage your body down to the ground. Take one more breath in. Exhale fully. And then inhale those legs through center. And then drop the knees over to the right, gazing left. And just feel your body relaxing on each exhale. Take one more breath in. Exhaling fully. And then inhale. Bring those knees back into center. Let's stretch the legs out long. Bring your arms down to your side and take a moment to finish out our practice in Shavasana. Let your breath be natural now. Feel all of that energy moving throughout your body. Allowing yourself to 
absorb all of the good things we just did. Take a few breaths here now. On your next inhale, start to wiggle those fingers and toes, rolling in your ankles and wrists. Take a nice full body stretch here, reaching arms and legs long away from each other. And then go ahead and roll over to one side, bending the knees, coming into a little fetal position. And then go ahead and press into your hand. Come up to sit in a comfortable seated position. Sitting up nice and tall. Let's take one final breath together. Inhale, reach those arms up. Palms touch and exhale as you bring the palms down to heart center. Take a moment to feel gratitude towards your body. You can slowly blink open your eyes. You guys are all set. Thank you so much for joining me for our twisty flow today. I hope you're feeling good and I will see you next time. The dog has joined me on the map. Let's give me an outtake.